The Duchess of Edinburgh looked elegant in a contrasting suit separates skirt as she arrived at Golsby, Sutherland, for an official visit. Sophie, 59, appeared in high spirits as she accompanied her husband, Prince Edward, 60, to the Scottish village. The mother of two styled her camel blazer with flowing, sage wide leg trousers, a striped t shirt, and suede heels. Meanwhile, the Duke of Edinburgh opted for more formal attire and donned a traditional tartan kilt, matched with a tweed waistcoat and blazer. Sophie wore her blonde locks tied back as she chatted to Lord Lieutenant for Sutherland, Patrick Marriott and Chair of Golsby Community Council, Henrietta Marriott, upon arrival. After touring the village centre by foot, Sophie greeted members of the Southern Schools and Sutherland Caledonian Pipe Band. Young children lined the streets and clutched onto Union Jack flags as they stood waiting for the Duke and Duchess. Looking as cheerful as the children, Sophie and Edward greeted the young Golsby members of the public with broad grins across their faces. The royal pair chatted with members of the public while standing in the sunshine by the Golsby's shore. It comes after the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh appeared to be in high spirits as they took part in the ceremony of the keys while visiting the Scottish capital. Prince Edward, 60, and his wife Sophie, 59, were all smiles as they made a visit to the Palace of Holyrood House and took part in the tradition, which happens every time the monarch or their official representative makes an official visit to the city. The late Queen's son was also seen walking alongside senior British Army reservist Major General Alistair Bruce for the occasion. He then received the keys to the city of Edinburgh from Lord Provost Councillor Robert Aldridge during the event. Photos from the day showed Sophie and Edward beaming as they were greeted by the ornate ceremony. The Duchess was effortlessly elegant in an emerald dress with textured patterns. The A-line skirt, collar detail and cinched waist made for the perfect sophisticated ensemble. She teamed her outfit with beige stiletto heels and accessorized with a matching green clutch. Sophie pulled her blonde tresses back into an effortless updo and kept her makeup chic and summery. Meanwhile, Edward was dapper in a navy suit and salmon tie sporting black leather shoes to finish the look off. Earlier that week, the couple become the first members of the royal family to visit a new memorial statue of Queen Elizabeth II. 